good evening good afternoon today i'm going to show you how to calculate or to work out the cash flow statement for ebm and for you know we've been given a scenario of the site that reads as follows use the following information to draw up the estimated cash flow statement of Valisa for the next three months at the end of March 2019, they had a favorable balance of 10,000. That's very, very critical. So you would take the 10,000 and indicate it here by your opening balance an amount of 10,000 because it's a favorable balance. If it's an unfavorable balance, you would have to show that in brackets because it means it's a negative amount. They also qualified for a loan for 15,000, which was granted in April. So when you look at your answer sheet, you'll see in April, we're going to receive an amount of 15,000 that we received because of the loan. Okay. Now we have our estimated sales and also our estimated purchases. Now, the reason why they indicate estimated it means the amount here includes both cash and credit sales, meaning some of your clients did not pay you. They promised to pay at a later stage. But however, the sales amount will be included here. You would see now here at the bottom, number two, 40% of all the sales are on credit. These customers pay 30 days later. And for purchases, it's 10% of all purchases on credit. Palisa pays 30 days later. Now, what I want you to do is once you get to this, before you could even calculate, work out a, a table like this, where you split. You have just taken an extract of your, uh, I've just copied down all your sales, estimated sales with the months and also the estimated purchases with the months and have worked out now the 60%, which is 60% of that amount, which will give you 9,000 and 60% of that and so forth. I've calculated 60% based on all these amounts and that's what it's given me, which is the amount that I received the cash and then 40% it's what I would receive at the later stage. So I've calculated 40% on 15,000, which is now an amount of uh, 6,000. When you add these two amounts, they would obviously give you 15,000. I did the same for my purchases. 90% of the purchases will be indicated as cash, and 10% of the purchases will then now be indicated as credit. Now, the easy part would be you would copy all these amounts. On your answer sheet where it indicates cash sales. So you would, for example, have now we've got the 9,000 in the next month for May, April, May, June. Okay, let's, we must start with April. April, you've got 12,000. And uh, May, 13,500, whereas June, you have now 19,500. Now I've dealt with all my cash. I can now, let's deal with the credit. Remember the credit part, they are saying they're going to pay 30 days later, meaning the amount you were, they were owing you for March will be then paid in April. So the 6,000 will be paid in April, the 8,000 will be paid in May, the 9,000 will be paid in June, the 13,000 will be paid in July, and so forth and so forth. So the amount they owe, if they've purchased in March, 30 days later, which means that amount will now be paid in April. So now we come here by credit. In April, I'm going to receive 6,000 which is an amount for the previous month, which is March. 
Then I'm going to receive another 8,000, which is for April. And then I'm going to receive the last amount, uh, 9,000, which was purchased in June. Okay, that's how you do that. You could immediately also do, do your, your credit, your purchases, your cash and credit, because you already have the table that you have worked out. It would be easier for you if you could do that. Your, um, if you could do your, your payments also immediately. Let's do that. So our payments, our cash would be, April will be 13,000. 500 May will be 14,850 and then June will be 22,500 because that's all cash the same the amount you are now going to pay or Palisa would pay 1000 rands in April 1005 in May 1006 in June, meaning um, every amount will be paid 30 days later, which means the following month or the month thereafter. So 1000 rents will be paid the following month, which is uh, April. 1500 will be paid in May, and then 1000. 600 will be paid in June. Now I've dealt with all my, my credit sales. I now need to focus on the rest of the other additional information given to me. Okay. When you look at, uh, we'll come back to your expenses because they would now fall under your monthly payments. All these expenses would now fall under your, your monthly payments, we, which we will deal with this. I want us to first finish up the first part that deals with amount of cash that we have received. Okay, now we'll see we bought a second hand vehicle, meaning we're going to pay. Uh, number five, in May, Palisa will sell an old vehicle 9,500. Now, this is where we're going to include the 9,500, but this would be now for, for May. In May, we we'll have 9,500 for the vehicle that we're going to sell in May. If you can ever look at, there's nothing else that needs to be indicated um, in uh, April. So we're simply just going to add the amounts that we have there from the top, those amounts. That will give us an answer here, which is total total receipts. So it's ten thousand plus six thousand twelve thousand plus six thousand plus fifteen thousand, and I'm getting an answer of forty three thousand forty three thousand. That's the amount indicated. Where you add these three amounts okay now let's deal with our expenses when you add all your expenses 650 1250 all these ones till these are monthly expenses they will recur on a monthly basis they gave me an amount of seven thousand seven hundred and fifty seven thousand seven hundred and fifty I did not include the loan repayment because it is will only be paid in in May. Now, when you go to May, your loan repayment will be one thousand five hundred. Your recurring amount, well, obviously every month you're going to pay seven thousand seven hundred and fifty, and also seven thousand seven hundred and fifty in the last month. So those are the payments that I'm going to make. Okay. Other payments would be this. When I say, well, it's about the second and the delivery vehicle in April. The, de 